Good morning dear all. This wonderful morning let us look at those little actions of care which can really make a difference in someone's life. Here is a touching story. A nurse took the tired anxious service man to the bedside. Your son is here, she said to the old man. She had to repeat the words several times before the patient's eyes opened. Heavily sedated because of the pain of his heart attack, he dimly saw the young uniformed marine standing beside him. He reached out to his hand. The marine wrapped his toughened fingers around the old man's limp ones, squeezing a message of love and encouragement. The nurse brought a chair so that the marine could sit beside the bed. All through the night, the young marine sat there in the poorly lightened ward holding the old man's hand and offering him words of love and strength. Occasionally, the nurse suggested that the marine move away and rest away. He refused and remained engrossed in his action. Now and then, she heard him say a few gentle words. The dying man said nothing, only held tightly to his son all through the night. Towards dawn, the old man died. The marine then released the lifeless hand he had been holding and went to tell the nurse. While she did what she had to do, he waited. Finally, she returned. She started to offer wet so sympathy, but the marine interrupted her. Who was that man? he asked. The nurse was startled. He was your father, she answered. No. He wasn't, the marine replied. I never saw him before in my life. Then why didn't you say something when I took you to him? I knew that there had been a mistake, but I also knew he needed his son, and his son just wasn't here. When I realized that, he was too sick to tell whether or not I was his son. Knowing how much he needed me, I stayed. Like the marine. Rather than just sympathizing with someone, let us extend our caring hand to people and truly live our core value of care. Thank you and have a great day ahead.